be strong. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing paper marbling. So I just have some samples here of some paper that I have marbled. Okay, so I'm going to show you what you're going to need. Uh, first, you're going to need paper. This is just regular computer paper that I've cut into smaller squares. You can use the whole sheet if you wanted to marble a larger area. I just need a little bit more manageable for right now. You're going to need something that has a stiff, straight edge. So I'm just using this Tim Hortons gift card. You could use a piece of cardboard or if you had um, paper that was glued together really stiff or maybe even um, some sort of flat edge like a ruler, that would work as well. You need shaving cream. So I didn't have the foamy kind. This is the gel kind. It comes out in a gel first, but I'm going to show you how you can still work with this. Paper towels to wipe your hands. A, paper, a plate, a paper plate, or a regular plate. I'm just using a regular dish plate. A paintbrush, or something that has a uh, flat edge, like a, a skewer, or toothpicks even will work really well. And then you need your food color. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is spray your shaving cream onto your plate. Now, like I said, mine comes out as a gel first, so I need to stir that up to create that foam. If you have the shaving cream that comes out as a foam first, then you don't need to swirl it around because it'll do its job right away. Okay, so I'm trying my best to kind of get the shaving cream even. Now we get to drop our color into the shaving cream. Just a few drops. Okay, so now the fun part. I'm gonna use the back end of my brush. This is where you would use the skewer or the toothpick. And you're just going to swirl You want to leave some areas where the shaving cream is still white. That is what's going to give us the marbled look. Now taking your paper, you can just set it into the shaving cream. Press gently. So I'm not squishing it down into the plate. comes into play I'm going to hold my paper down with my fingertip and just take that and squeegee the foam off just wipe it on a paper towel now each time you do this it's going to turn out different so let me put my plate back get another I pressed a envelope into one before. This would be really cute if you were writing a letter. You can write the person's address here and it looks like a really decorated fancy envelope. This 
sky's the limit with paper marbling. I can't wait to see what you guys do with all of your different kinds of marbled paper. Tag me in your posts. I'd love to see it on Instagram, Stony Creek School of Art. And until next time, we'll see you then. Thanks so much. Bye.